Hello everyone, it's K. How's it going today? So, this is 25th of November 2020 on Wednesday. So, every Wednesday, I talk about my own strategy, which is called KTS, K strain strategy. And today's topic is about the stop loss. I will exactly show you where I put the stop loss and where I put the break even line too. So, Let's get started right now. So quickly, as a disclaimer, this information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So let's see. Um, I don't see any trending market. So to be practical, I will go back the chart a little bit. So let me go back the chart. Here is a Euro USD chart. So maybe somewhere here when we see uptrending. So we see uptrend on this one here, the daily chart, Euro USD, back on um, 21st of July this year. So we see Kumo up, Kijun Sen up. So that this is where I look at the lower time frames to confirm it. So I look at the one hour chart. And I can see one hour chart is flat now. Flat Kumo, flat Kijun Sen. So I would wait until the Kumo and Kijun Sen goes up this way. Oh, by the way, if you haven't downloaded this PDF yet, please do. I have the free download of this my strategy, and basically every day I analyze market based on this PDF. It's my strategy. So this is what I'm doing right now. So I checked the daily chart or 4 and I found daily chart to be uptrending on this current situation and then I was looking at the 1 and 1 on chart still flat because we see um, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So I wait until they go up this way. And then I look at the lower time frames to capture the trading edge to buy. So let me move the candles one by one until the Kijun Sen and the Kumo goes up. So this is how I wait for the trade chance. So okay, so now I see the Kumo Senko Span B up, A up, and Kijun Sen up. So this is where I take a buy. I look at the lower time frame, for example, five minute chart, and I confirm uh, three confirmations at least to take a buy. So before the break there was squeeze Bollinger Bands and also Scarcity's not gold crossing yet. So uh, I would wait for a little more time until I see the three confirmations. So let's see. So in this case, because I confirmed the daily chart up and one hour chart up, I only look for buy chance. So that means I only expect the market go up on this bullish in wave like this. So let's see if it happens. Stochastic is still going down while the Bollinger Band is squeezing still. It's been ranging. Okay, now I see gold cross on this Stochastics. Bollinger Band squeeze. And also, I find that there is a um, engulfing bar, like an inside bar here. So at the break of this inside bar, I will take a buy. So this is how I e capture a trading edge to buy. So I would wait a couple more minutes until it breaks up. Okay, now it's going down, no trades. Let's see. Okay, there was a doji candle and breaks up. Still ranging, not really going up. Okay, so now here I see ascending triangle, which is quite interesting setup for the uptrend. And also, um, so at the breakout, that will be the confirmation to buy. One of the confirmations. So, and then I, what I will be doing is that the um, I would expect the breakout of the recent high upwards this way. 
So let's see if it happens. Okay, now there's a breakout. There's a breakout, and when you see the breakout, I get multiple confirmations because here we see Doji candlestick. Doji candlestick is something that I talk about on Monday's video while running the Flex Tester 4. At the Doji breakout is one of the confirmations. So this is one. Um, and also band walking. The price is at the division 1 2 in between the division 1 2 which is band walking. And also there's a breakout of the recent high. So now I have three confirmations. So this is where I take a buy. In this case I don't look at the stochastics because it's all the uh, gold cross way b way back and now it's been gold crossing so I don't take the stochastics because the gold cross is not happening right now. So let's say that we I take a buy over here and then in this case the stop loss is going to be below the recent low. In this case we've got multiple lows either here or here or all the way down level. So depending on how many pips I have to the stop loss I choose which one to take. So let's say I take the first low, first previous low, and then in this case the stop loss is going to is going to be pips wise this is 12 pips of stop loss. So 12 might be too tight. I want to have at least 15 pips of stop loss because recently it's been volatile on lower time frames. I want more buffer to the stop loss. So most likely in this case I take the third low which is going to be the stop loss is going to be uh, 17 pips of stop loss. So this is above 15 and this is decent stop, stop loss. So I take the stop loss on this lower time frame. So here once again as a recap as per my strategy I find the daily chart to be uptrending and one hour chart to be uptrending and also I took the 5 minute chart this time and got 3 confirmations and looking for the buy. Uh, I mean I, I placed the buy already. So in this case this is important but in this case I expect the market go up on this bullish new wave. If it doesn't then I will just exit. If it goes backwards and if it becomes bearish in the wave, then I should exit. Because in this case, the market should go up continuously. So let me run the candles a little bit more until I can set the break even po possibly. <clears throat> okay, so now the market initially goes up, retrace backwards now. But still, this is on end wave. You see, this is still on end wave. So it can be supported at some point here and it goes up this way too. Unless it breaks the recent low downwards. So let's see if it happens. Okay, somehow it's been pushing back. So this is still on bullish in wave. So let's see if it goes up or not like this. Okay, kind of holding the um, recent low. So let's see. Okay, now breakout. Now break of the recent low. So let me just exit this one. I will just exit this position once. And then I look at the daily chart again. And also the mid time frame and see if this is stop trending. Okay, daily chart still shows that this is beautiful uptrend and also one hour chart, uh, this is becoming flat now. Alright, so I will run the tester again by the one hour until it goes up. So one hour chart looks to be still flat. You see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, no trades. Okay, now I ha we have a huge breakout. So. I will go back to that 5 minute chart and look at the confirmations. So today's topic is about the break even. So hopefully I can set the break even as a demonstration. 
So let's say I so I will skip the confirmation part. Let's say I find three confirmation to buy here and I take a buy. Let me skip the confirmations part. But make sure you find three three or more confirmations when you take a buy. And the stop loss will be below the recent low. And let me run. So in this case, I expect the market goes up this way and continues on this bullish in the wave. So let's see if it happens. Okay, it goes up initially. So I still don't move the stop the break even yet because I expect the market goes up on this bullish in the wave. So once the market forms this bullish in the wave, and once it breaks the recent high, that's when I move the stop loss to break even. So let's see if it happens. Still consolidating, looks like. It's been ranging. Okay, now it's gradually going down but still holding it. Now uh, this is a long consolidation. The Bollinger Band is very squeezing right now. So let's see. Okay, still ranging right now. Okay, I want to show you where I put the break even today. So let me skip until I can set it right now. Okay, so here I find finally the pushback. So this is when I move the stop loss to break even. Because finally the market moves up on this bullish in wave as I expected. So this is actually explained on this PDF. If you scroll down to I think that was page 11. Stop loss strategies explained on uh, page 11 and on the next page 12 there is a break even strategy. So Basically, this is how I move the stop loss break even. This is the exact timing where I move it. Otherwise, I won't move it. I will just exit and re enter the market like this, where I showed it to you today. So, once again, we are on the uptrend on this case. Daily charts show the uptrend, and also one hour charts is uptrending too. So, we expect the market continue to go up this way on this bullish in the wave, otherwise we exit. And this is where I confirm the bullish in the wave at this pushback. At this pushback and breakout, I confirm the end wave. And this is now safe to break even. So that um, we can expect the market continue to grow upwards this way, along the way. Alright, so that was my stop loss and break even strategy. I hope you liked today's video. If you liked it, please press a good button before you leave and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives every day. So tomorrow will be on Thursday. Thursdays, Fridays, I do the live stream. So I will hope to see you tomorrow on Thursday. And if you would like to master my strategy KTS, then I have the GTS. This is called Global Trading School where there's only five members, small group, it's an ex extensive, um, you know, three-month course here. And we, there's a, a new opening on the next January. There's uh, still two seats available. So if you're interested, please click, click on the link below and you can access to my website, click on the services and click on this GTS and you can find all these descriptions here. So, yeah, please read through. And if you're interested, please drop him an email so that um, I can put you on the waiting list. All right, so I hope you have a great day today. And I hope you catch some trends uh, next week onwards. So, until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.